to the channel folks i got a short message i want to share with you uh from furry tales rescue it's a video they made uh, they had recently purchased some land and a building well you'll see i'll show you the video facebook hates youtube youtube hates facebook i know how to download a video from youtube but i haven't figured a way to how to do it from facebook so i'm just going to turn the camera around play the video on my monitor and hopefully the quality is decent enough uh at the and then it's a three minute video i think this does not count as my video for today on this channel but they wanted me to share it with you guys and in the description i will have uh links to ways if you feel like you might want to donate to them to help them ach uh, achieve their goal with this property well the, there's like three different ways you can donate and i'll put that in the description so here's the video all right here we go this is a new project that we're working on um i was recently able to purchase a property that had a couple of older trailer homes on them and um I am wanting to donate this one back to the rescue to use as a medical facility. We currently don't have anywhere that we can house dogs that have life-threatening injuries or say parvovirus, things that they really need to be kept inside and monitored closely. Um, as we are foster based and we are outdoors, that's not something that we have, but now we do. So the plan for this is that we'll use this living room area and kitchen and then this bedroom to keep the dogs um, in it that maybe have a need. It will be easier for us to bleach and sanitize and keep clean. We also have refrigerator for our medicine, storage space in the cabinets which is something that we just don't have right now. Um, also, we have a bathroom, which this all is going to take a lot of cleaning and work and funding, um, but we have space for wash and dryer, shower and tub, which is nice for us to be able to wash dogs in, um, sink. This bedroom will be used for storage space for more of our medical supplies. And also we will put a twin size bed in here for when we do have a dog um, that needs care like that, we can have a caretaker stay down here and sleep with them when they need to be, you know, tended to every hour or so. We also have this back door that leads into a pretty good space, um, part of my backyard that we will fence off so that the dogs um, if they're able to go outside, they can have a little bit of time outside and this will be fenced off and so that they're kept safe. So this is kind of a dream project for us. Um, something that we've needed and wanted for a long time and finally getting the opportunity to do this. But what we need is community support. Um, we need financial help just to be very blunt about it because as you can see, there's a lot to be done in here, flooring, walls, furniture, um, lots of things that need to be done. And we need some people that are willing to put in some physical time here to help us get this ready. But we hope that this will be a way that we can serve the community um, better. And we're not looking for anything fancy, um, we just need something functional so that we can help more dogs. So if you're willing to do that, we will have a link for our ways to donate and we would appreciate any help that we can get. Thank you. All right, as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see, it's gonna need some work. It's gonna need to be, you know, clean thoroughly. Those walls will need a coat or two of kills on there and paint because uh, it needs to be if they're going to be treating dogs with parvo things like that it needs to be a cleanable surface um, they also they sell like panels that are wipeable that are uh, plastic material maybe they could go with that but right now they just need to get it you know working it's an older place looks like a nice yard for the dogs uh, so that's good fencing is not not cheap 
Uh, there's many ways to go with that. Um, so if you guys can help them out, hey, I'm going to put the links in the description. And you can always send it to me and I'll make sure they get it. Uh, however you want to do it, that's up to you. Uh, but it's kind of cool that they got this now. And personally, I've worked with dogs with Parvo. Um, you can save some of them. You, some of them you just can't. But the key is it's pretty much every hour, every two hours, you have to give them fluids. And it takes it out of you. And you have to change into a gown and wear gloves and a mask and you know dip your feet in bleach and lysol it's a lot of work and so that's probably you know way i see it. i mean i've saved several but it's a very deadly disease and unfortunately a lot of people have dogs that keep having litters they refuse to spay and neuter their animals and they keep year after year having puppies on land that is contaminated with the parvo and it stays in the ground for seven years or more and it's bad stuff and you can't get rid of it all right guys that's like i said this is, does not count as today's video but i wanted to share that message with you sorry if the video quality was a little shaky as i'm sitting there holding a selfie stick on there because facebook doesn't give me the option to download I don't like I don't like you Facebook. I don't. Happy trails.